thanks everyone for joining us for a great night of roller derby. Before we get the game started, we'd like to take a few minutes to explain how the game of roller derby is played. At the beginning of a jam, there may be up to five players from each team on the track for a total of ten skaters, eight blockers, and two jammers. The pivot wears a striped helmet cover. Each team's pivot is a specialized blocker capable of taking on the role of jammer mid-jam if the existing jammer removes her helmet cover and passes it to her. The other three skaters from each team in the pack are the blockers. The blockers act as defense against the opposing jammer by preventing her from exiting the pack or to assist their own jammer through the pack. The blockers must stay in a pack. The pack is defined as the largest group of blockers on the track. No jam would be complete without the jammers. The only players who can score points, these fast skaters are seen wearing stars on their helmet covers. Their job is to get through the pack to score as many points as they can in a two minute period. Now that we know who's out there, let's talk about how these skaters score on the track. Each period of about is split up into jams, which can last up to two minutes. At the starting whistle, the jammers begin to make their way through the pack as the blockers roll forward. The first jammer to legally get through the pack will be awarded lead jammer status. The ref will make two short whistle blasts and point at the jammer, indicating she is lead. On the first pass through the pack, no points are scored by either jammer. The lead jammer can call off or stop the jam at any time by placing your hands on her hips. You will know the jammer has successfully called off the jam when you hear four whistle blasts. If neither skater passes the pack legally on the first pass, there is no lead jammer and the jam cannot be called off by either jammer and will last the entire two minutes. Scoring begins when a jammer passes through the pack the second time, earning a point for each opposing skater she passes, as indicated by the hips, inbounds, and upright. Illegal behavior will earn you a trip to the penalty box. Skaters may not engage a skater more than 20 feet in front of or behind the pack. Skaters may not block with elbows, forearms, hands, or heads. No pushing opposing players, no punching, and no headbutting. Skaters may not hit, push, or block opposing skaters in the back. That is back blocking and is a major penalty. Skaters may not cut the track. No passing skaters while out of bounds. Skaters may not hold, grab, scratch, clothesline, or display any other unsportswoman-like conduct. For any of this bad behavior, a skater can be placed in the penalty box for one minute per penalty. Or, if they insist on being bad, they may be ejected from the game entirely. Thanks everyone for coming out to support Roller Derby. Enjoy the bout!